the movement. <laughs> and we got the handshake. These guys are super bros. Oh yeah. Uh, the <laughs> in the just the day they met, like they just hit Clicked. it off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, Rocket Puff, uh, super volatile matchup, right? Both of these characters have like some of the strongest moves in the game with Jigglypuff's rest and Luigi's upbeat. Yeah, uh, just a uh, sweet spot. Yeah. Super explosive off any combo. Um, I won't. I don't think we'll see too many, uh, like too many neutral interactions in this matchup. Uh, they're gonna try to make each one count because uh, not only are the the explosive moves rest and right there rest rest and up be super powerful, but also uh, fairly easy to combo into as well. So in this matchup, Luigi has that tool that uh, he has the up B that'll kill Puff extremely early because she's the lightest character in the game, as well as things like up smash, which is a great anti-air. Uh, but he's really slow, and Jigglypuff can kind of take advantage of controlling the sky a lot yeah. and then finding openings with drill like this, like we saw in the last doc, uh, which is what she gets everything off of. So Luigi definitely has stuff, but I think Jigglypuff has the tools to just kind of make Luigi's life really frustrating. Yeah, um, I think I, I heard it uh, pretty well from someone. They just said that uh, Jigglypuff should be able to zone out Luigi, but you know, Luigi's conversions are really what make this matchup hard. Um, and even though Luigi has slow horizontal movement, he is deceptively fast with his move pool. Uh, up air, down B, and up B all come out, I believe, in two frames. So okay. uh, a lot of combo breaking potential there uh, to turn it around a bad situation into a stock. And a good trade for Rocket, I would say. Yep, he survives there. Rocket off to a pretty good start here. Oh, definitely, yeah. And Rocket kind of stuck in the corner. Uh, you know, gonna try to weave his way to the edge. Yeah, yep. Shears can't close out the edge guards. I mean, not that it's the easiest thing with Luigi, but there you go. You kind of have to pressure Jigglypuff off stage. Can't respect her too much because she has horrible jumps, no up B recovery. So you kind of have to take advantage of that the best you can. Yeah, uh, you Jigglypuff with all her jumps, like incredible mix-up drive. Like we've seen Wangara get to the stage. Oh, and there's that up B. Uh, like in ways that uh, I don't think anyone thought to do. But you know, that's kind of your goal is. Uh, the recovery is only good with those jumps, right? Right. And pound. So you, I mean, pound you have to respect as well because the hitbox on it is pretty big. And that it is sends true. you backwards. Uh, but it's kind of easy to bait out, and most characters can punish it fairly easily. And there we saw uh, the first, I would say, three jumps of Jigglypuff's uh, about normal, but the last two just kind of keep her in space. Yeah. And that's uh, Shears' goal is to get Jigglypuff to force, force Jigglypuff to use those uh, smaller jumps. And the stocks are tied now. Shears taking two in a row for himself, uh, but he still has a percent deficit. Let's see what he can do. I mean, they're kind of both at KO percent now. <laughs> yeah, no, it won't really take much for uh, Shears to make a conversion, but a great crouch there under that fireball. Exhausted a second jump there, so couldn't get anything out of that up air. Um, Rocket opting to kind of do a high slash low approach, uh, just switching it up a little bit. Good roll there. I like that Nair on shield. Guarantees the grab in that situation. And Rocket mixing it up, finally going on stage instead of to the ledge and just swooping in. This might be it. Yeah. That's it. That's all it takes. Yeah, one opening with drill. Get him to mid percent. And up tilt or grab can spell the end for Luigi and just about every other character in the game. And Shears is looking a little frustrated. Uh, might be thinking of a counter pick here. Who do you think is more hungover? I would say Shears. Yeah, he definitely seems it. Rocket seems more chipper this morning. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I think Rocket knew when to call it last night. Yeah. So I got a job to do. Shears is like, well, I'm here to have fun. Yeah, <laughs> <So> yeah. <laughs> and we see uh, a double switch. Oh. So I honestly believe that this is Shears, by far Shears' best character. Um, I think it's pretty good, too, yeah. But Pika, at the same time, is like, it's hard to say because Pika's so good in every matchup yeah. that his Pika is also very good. I think they're close to even. Yeah, with how unpracticed his Pikachu is, like it still does a lot of work. Another super volatile matchup just because their punish game on each other is ridiculous. And, Ooh. Oh, a little slow on that down there, and uh, Shears gets away with um, you know, murder there. Uh, good escape there from Rocket, but he's going to want to take the stock sooner than later. Respecting Shears, giving him a little bit of space. 
Cheers is probably going to try to work some uh, parrying cheese to get another opening on Rocket here. Oh, great dash attack. Yep. That'll be it. That'll be a quick two stocks for Shears. Sitting at 119. Let's see what Rocket can do. I, th I think he needs to slow it down a little bit more. He's kind of running into Yoshi a lot. In this percent, it's kind of good because you can break his armor and not have to worry about it too much. But if you're just running into getting punished for poor approaches and getting your stuff parried, then you're not going to have a good time in this matchup. Yeah, and I think you can kind of tell Rocket doesn't have too much uh, knowledge about this matchup. Like, uh, with Shears parrying so much on his uh, standard get-ups, mm -hmm. you would think an up B would maybe come into play from Rocket uh, just to get that quick KO. Um, he's still doing pretty good in neutral, but uh, just not the conversions you want for this matchup. Good DI from Rocket. Falcon Punch protects him from the egg, but this is going to be hard. Yeah. Yeah, and Cheers has been in that situation plenty of times. He knows exactly what to do. Uh, just dropping down that Nair and converting into jab. Uh, not really too much Falcon can do. Oh, great DI from Rocket. That yeah. could have been a turnaround in the game. Saved his life. He did take a good bit of damage, but... Cheers still holding it down with two stocks. Rocket's got to be real careful here. But Cheers not really getting, giving any room for him to get back on stage. Yep. Maybe Hori would have drifted that far, but not today for Rocket. So 1-1 one, one now in the set. I don't know what we'll see character-wise. I think I think Cheers is going to stick. Yoshi, yeah. probably his best bet. Um, and we'll see. Uh, he's got a few characters to pick here. I assume we'll go Jigglypuff. Yep. Do you guys have a good Yoshi in Michigan? Uh, I'm the Yoshi in yeah, Michigan, yeah. quote unquote. But, you know, not my main. And I picked him up earlier this year. Uh, but I try to give, uh, you know, give the players practice when I can. Right. Yeah, more and more regions are getting Yoshis, but there's still a lot of regions that don't know all the little nuances of this matchup. And you think watching it, what you learn a lot, and in some ways you do, but there's just something about playing Yoshi a lot that you learn so many things, the weaknesses and the strengths of this character. Yeah, like, I think it almost feels like learning the game again whenever you're playing against Yoshi. And kind uh, of playing as Yoshi, too. Oh, you have definitely. to think about it, things in a lot of different ways. Yeah, because, uh, you know, he has, uh, you know, mechanics that we are more used to in uh, general fighting games, right? Right. Like your parry and your um, super armor. Uh, and that's what Yoshi's really all about for getting in and just protecting himself. And those combos just so absolutely un crazy. unlike Luigi, Yoshi has actually really excellent air mobility. Oh, and that's oh. going to be it. Yeah. So we've seen already Shears punish some poor <laughs> approaches from Rocket on that last stock, and then now this stock he just SD'd. But yeah, and Rocket had a good chance to take the game there. Now, I'm not saying he's completely out of it. But, um, but this is going to be a lot harder for him with that SD. Oh, man, that's going to be, be it. Yeah, four stock from David Shears. Yep. Closing it out. And they're hugging it out. Yeah. Still have.